just first say who you are and what the band is? I don't want to do this. <laughs> Cannot be more grateful, and I genuinely mean that. We'd kind of moved away from sort of what the band originally was. I'm Kyle, lead singer and guitarist of Fuzzy Sun. Announcing like the band was coming to an end. It's an odd feeling thinking that that's going to be the end. I think we just felt like the Fuzzy Sun era had kind of come to its sort of natural conclusion. I think the music kind of took on a different life sort of during COVID. So then after that long period of time out, we'd kind of moved away from sort of what the band originally was. Everyone's been very supportive and sort of been like very excited to see what's coming next or like thanks for all the gigs and memories that we've had with the fans. And I suppose when you get to see that in sort of mass, it kind of makes the time doing it feel quite worthwhile. I sort of just feel like a bit like there's a hole and I'm not sure what goes in that at the minute. We've done things that maybe I never thought I'd get to do and I don't take any of that like lightly or for granted. Like I think what we have done for the sort of short period really that we've we've been together has, has been amazing. There's stuff and memories that I'll that I've got forever that I'll I'll never ever forget. Just getting our own headline tour around the UK, it just seems daft when you start a band and you've just been playing like pubs and around your hometown and that. I think probably when we did Academy 2, that was unreal, like a thousand people. Yeah, I, I remember good going out on stage and I was like, who's on after us? I was like, they're not here to see us. Either. Getting to travel around Europe, I suppose that was probably a huge one. It was kind of surreal. And probably got to do it in the best way, because uh, we didn't take a van, we did it on train. It couldn't have gone any better time in life. I think it was like a week after we got back, everything went to shit. I definitely think COVID had a big impact on, on where the band was going at that specific time. So. How's everyone doing? All good? That hit in COVID, when, when it hit, with what we sort of had planned for the rest of that year and what felt like was on quite an upwards trajectory, I suppose. I think it definitely hindered us. In, like, financially, it, it did, for sure. Um, because we still had outgoings, but we had nothing coming in. Halfway through COVID, we had to start a GoFundMe. <laughs> learn from certain mistakes you learn from well the stuff that went right as well do you know what I mean like the whole experience is everything you learn from and and you can take into that next thing I think the, the best bit of advice is find a group of people that all have the same sort of mindset. You really need to want it and you need to push it hard. And it does have to be a priority. It can't be. If it's a hobby, it will become a hobby. In a few years, I, I, I have no idea doing music in some fashion. Uh, in my head right now would be the dream. It's a real moment 
probably like playing keepy uppies with two door cinema club in their dressing room at Victoria Warehouse. <laughs> that was quite weird. I think the final message to any fans would just be thanks so much for the support from from the beginning to now and no matter when you sort of join that journey. It genuinely means like the fucking world to me that people are even interested in anything I've got to do or say. People to listen to the music, take something away from it, allow me to do any of this for any amount of time, I genuinely cannot be more grateful. They're not there, you're not there, so just a whole, wholehearted thank you. And I, I probably will cry my eyes out on this tour. <laughs>